Good morning, Louis. Look at this. <laughs> Let's see that shot. Shot. Cheers to tricep, bicep, and ab day. And it's Friday. And it's Friday. Friday. Doors. What are you doing today? I'm doing arms. Arms? Arms and shoulders, basically the, the whole upper body. Whole upper body? Yeah. Alright, so usually on Fridays I do legs again, but um, I feel like every time I video I'm doing legs, so I really want to like show you all my tricep and bicep days. So I wrote out a workout, which I'll put it up on the screen. Um, basically, we're doing triceps and biceps, but these are circuits. One, two, three, four. Four different circuits, and the sets are... Hey! You <laughs> stop doing all that side stuff. The sets are, um, three to four sets <laughs> for some of the circuits. And, um, the reps are 15 reps. All, all the reps are 15 reps, except for abs. You're hitting a max of 25 reps. But this circuit is kind of different because usually um, I'm hitting abs at the end of my workout. So this circuit today, I was gonna do uh, abs at the end of every circuit. So I'll be hitting abs in between each arm workout. Um, I'm pretty excited about this to show y'all. <laughs> All right, so somebody asked me the other day, um, sent me a message and asked me like, what motivates me to go to the gym? Um, what motivates me to go to the gym every day is the results I get out of the gym. Like I walk out of the gym knowing that I'm feeling healthy after the gym. Like I walk out knowing that I made a change in my body that day. Things that motivate you to go to the gym, really workout partners are like the best thing to motivate you to go to the gym. Like you're, you're, you're both like holding each other accountable of going to the gym. So that's, that's like the key to going to the gym, I feel like. Um, and another thing is like, you're not gonna see results within a week or two weeks. It takes a long time to start seeing results. So you just have to like have it in your head that you're gonna see results in the future. I think after two months, I actually saw results and I was like actually seeing like less body fat on me. So it takes a while to see results. Um, some days I don't have like the best gym day and I don't get the best workout but I just went in and I did something. So if you just go in, do something, get something done, you're improving your body one step at a time. So, all right, let's hit this workout. See y'all in the gym. Okay, so here we're doing our first circuit and we're doing close grip bench. So we're doing a four by 15 and after the close grip bench, then I'm gonna go to um, my overhead press with the dumbbell. Dumbbell. So I got 25 pounds. So we're gonna do that four by 15, and then after I hit that, then I'm gonna go and do an ab workout on the pull up. So I'm gonna just do any ab workout that I like to do, 25 reps max. Okay, so I'm gonna hit this. I'm gonna hit bench first. Then I'm gonna hit the overhead press, and then I'm gonna hit an ab workout, and then I'm gonna go back to bench. Normally when benching to target the chest, my grip is wider, but to target your triceps, you can do a closer grip where my hand placement is currently to target triceps. get a weight that burns the muscles but you have to have full control when dipping down you see that I'm not struggling when I'm dipping down and that's like the hardest part of doing this workout all right here we're doing a 3x15 I'm hitting uh, cable curls right here and then I'm hitting dumbbell curls and then I'm gonna hit an ab workout so I'm gonna go three by I'm gonna go 15 reps on the cables I'm gonna go 15 reps on the dumbbells and then I'm gonna hit my abs and then I'm gonna go back and forth three times 
<laughs> Do y'all see that old man in the back left? Oh my god, he is going hard with them dumbbells, y'all. Check it out. He's just like, we're gonna. Ooh. Oh yeah. <laughs> If you notice when I'm doing dumbbell curls, I hold one arm up and continue curling the other arm. That is because I'm holding a bicep flex and continuously working both arms two different ways. I'm at um, 25 pounds. I'm sticking with 25 pounds because this is kind of like a burnout circuit. So I'm going to be burnt out by the end of three sets. All right, so here I'm hitting two different machines back and forth. I'm doing, um, I write out three sets for each. So I'm going to hit this tricep machine, 15 reps. And then I'm going to hit this um, curl machine, bicep curl machine, 15 reps. And if it's an individual arm by arm machine, just do 15 on both sides. And then after I hit bicep machine, after I hit the, block by the, the bicep machine, I'm gonna go and do an ab workout. So I'm gonna get one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, three times. And like just FYI, if you're like trying to do circuits and you're in the gym and somebody's like on the machine or like has something you're wanting to use that's like interrupting your circuit, just go ahead and hit one by one. But when you do, just take like 15 second breaks in between each set. So like say if I hit this tricep machine, and somebody's on my bicep machine, then I'll just hit this tricep machine. I'll do my 15, 15 seconds, 15 reps, 15 seconds, 15 reps, 15 seconds. So then I'm getting more of a burn like I would if I were doing a circuit. So since I just did this tricep machine and I like, it was like a, it's a good weight. I'm at 70 pounds, but I wasn't, I, get, I didn't get that burning sensation at the end of the reps. So I'm gonna go up on weight next time I hit this. So now I'm gonna hit the bicep curls. So here I'm only doing 40 pounds on this machine. Um, I guarantee you I could probably do a lot more weight, but just because I'm looking more to tone up on my body, I'm doing a lot less weight and I'm doing a lot more reps. And so I'm trying to lose the body fat and tone up more. I've already had my bulking season before. I didn't like the way my body looked, so I just got too thick. I'm already a thick person, so I did not want to get any more thick. So girls who are looking to get thick in their body need to do, um, you can do like three to four sets like I do, but I would guarantee you need to do like heavier weight and do about eight reps, like eight reps. You can do 10, eight, six. You can go down that way and you do heavy weight. Um, I've already been through that little season with my body, so I'd rather just tone up. Um, I'm looking to get more of like a nice female tone up. So that's why I'm sticking with 40 pounds and I'm doing 15 reps. And you, when you're doing lightweight, don't do lightweight and do the whole workout and not even feel a burn. You still have to feel like some kind of burn when you're doing these reps.
Oh yeah, I apologize like if my hair is really raunchy right now. I just want to like keep my hair straight like because I don't want to do it later when I go to the work. So, um, oh yeah. Just another hint if you want to meet me up at GNC. I work at GNC now. Just starting so I have no idea what's going on. I know some supplements but I'm trying to learn all those supplements. You know what I'm saying? So once I start learning all those supplements, I'm going to be telling y'all all about some supplements. Bo show. Bo show. Bo show. All right. Um, so the next circuit is you're doing a press into a, uh, into a skull crusher and then I'm doing a cable overhand cable for your triceps. So it's going to be overhand and you're going to be pushing down and then after that then we take the cable and you go underhand and then you pull down. So we're really targeting the triceps. If you really want your upper body to be toned, this is a pretty good workout to go by. And then after I um, hit that, then I'm getting an ab workout. So this is four workouts in one circuit. So um, I don't really record my abs because I have to like fix the camera and all that. And so I don't really, I'm just too lazy to do that. So once again, if y'all are wanting like an ab workout, I can do a whole video on abs. Like I can go in the gym and just do abs straight. And then after I hit the circuit, I'm doing cardio. Notice when I'm doing both these workouts, when I'm coming up with the bar, I don't pass my chest. And when going down, you want to have a full flex when walking your arms. Excuse me, y'all, I'm sorry, I'm flexing in the mirror. You know, sometimes you just gotta be flexing on people, if you know what I'm saying. y'all so I don't know why I'm yelling <coughs> I'm so congested right now oh my god I bet y'all can like tell my voice is a little different anyways today's workout was great I got such a good burn in my upper body like my biceps and my triceps were burning I did like a couple ab workouts with each uh, circuit I did and it was great honestly like it was the best workout ever um let's just take a moment and acknowledge the fact that how zoomed in this camera is on my face like what how did I not realize the camera was so zoomed in my face I don't know but it is so zoomed in on my face like this looks horrible I'm sorry guys but just I guess I'm just gonna do better next time I definitely recommend that you guys try that workout because it's it's actually a really good workout to do ladies if you're trying to tone the upper body I started breaking a sweat but um, after I did all my circuits, I go on the treadmill and I do about, I usually do about 15 minutes sprint intervals, 30 second sprint intervals for 15 minutes. Um, I walk the first two minutes and then the rest I do sprint intervals. But now that I've been doing it for a while, I've increased my time in sprints. So instead of doing 30 minutes, I mean 30 minutes, I would die. 30 second sprints, now I'm up to a minute of sprints. So I do a minute sprint, 30 seconds off. Minute sprint, 30 seconds off. So, yeah, so that's the whole point of that, is that I, every time you go in the gym, I was telling somebody, um, I was talking to somebody on uh, Instagram, and every time you go into the gym, y'all, the problem is that if you guys don't see any progress, or you guys are not getting anywhere, or you plateaued, the problem is, is because maybe because you're not 
increasing your goal or like reaching a better a higher goal when you're going into the gym so the point is like when I'm doing cardio I can't just be doing the same amount of time every single time the same amount of sprint time every single time you know what I'm saying so every time I go in the gym I'm increasing time I'm increasing weight I'm reaching a higher goal every time I go in the gym so you guys got to learn to push yourself to go even higher so uh, follow the Instagram above and then also subscribe down below um really guys show your girl some love I am trying to make this a career a career so show your girl some love seriously show me some love anyways um yeah I think that's it I'm just really hyped up on pre-workout right now I'm about to go eat myself a little chicken sandwich <laughs> Peace, y'all. See you later.